In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding values and intervals where the graph of a function is zero, positive, or negative. We're given the graph of the function f of x and asked three questions about that graph. The first question a asks, is f of negative three positive? And to find f of negative three, we look at where the x value is negative three so where the input is negative 3 would be here. When we plug a negative 3 into the function, we get this value, which from the graph looks like negative 5. So our question of is f of negative 3 positive, we would say no. And then for question b, we're asked for which value or values of x is f of x 0. And since we're told that f of x is 0, f of x is our y value. So where our y value is 0 actually happens three times on this graph. The first time is when we plug in a negative 2. So f of negative 2 is 0. And then again here, when 1 is plugged into f of x, we again get 0. And then also out at this point, when we plug in a 4, f of 4 is 0. And then for part c, we're asked for which values of x is f of x less than 0? f of x being our y values, so our y values are less than 0 over this stretch, and then again on this stretch. So for which values does this happen? This happens between negative 3 and negative 2 for our x values. So the interval negative 3 to negative 2, I'm going to include negative 3 since it's a solid dot. But notice that at negative 2, our f of x value is 0, and we're asked where f of x is less than 0. So I'm not going to include negative 2. And then for the second piece, I would have a union, and here it is below 0 between the x values of 1 and 4. And since we don't want equal to 0, both of these points will be not included, 1 to 4, with regular parentheses. 